There's a question I get asked over and over again, so I'm gonna answer it here and now. People say, why does this keep happening to me? Why can't I get over it? Why can't I move on? Those kind of questions. You can look at it as feeling like we're always caught in a loop that's unending and never changes. Well, one way to look at it, and it goes by different names in different worlds. In one world, John Gottman, the relationship expert, talked about it being a perennial problem, something that runs through our experience over and over. Another way to think of it is from the attachment model, which John Bowlby talked about as an internal working model. These are the overriding beliefs and circumstances that seem to keep repeating over and over. Why we get in the same job over and over, have the same partners, the same circumstances, the same upsets, over and over. I'm sure you can relate to it. Well, one way to look at it is the first step of it really is to begin to see, well, what is the protest that happens consistently? And it's going to keep showing up throughout our life. It's going to show up when it's imprinted for the first time, usually be three years old. And then the more it's repeated and imprinted, the stronger it's going to be laid down in us. And it's going to keep repeating in various forms throughout our life. The research shows that what gets imprinted at this early age is a long lasting effect unless we deliberately change it. So the question is, how do we change it? What if, as some of my coaching clients say, I can't trust anybody. And that seems to be showing up here, here, all through their life. They feel like they can't trust what somebody's telling to them. Or maybe somebody when they're 45 says, oh gosh, nobody loves me. Why won't you love me? And that's the prevailing sort of chronic storyline that goes on and they begin to track it. It happens over and over again. So what we can do is begin to listen to it. The first step is saying, well, what is the protest? The second step is beginning to see how that story flows throughout our life, watching that story replicate itself. We look for how and when that's showing up. And then the fourth step is what is the connective tissue? This perennial problem, this internal working model is showing up at some level over and over and over again. That's why it's repeating. And what we can look for is what is the need? What this protest, this, I don't like this. I don't want this. This isn't fair is showing up so that we can pay attention to what we need. None of us like that part of it. If we look at, well, what is the protest, the push away, there's something that we need to move toward. What would be more nourishing? And when we begin to get that, when we begin to see, well, what would be more nourishing, we actually can start moving in that direction instead of replicating the problem. I look forward to hearing how this was for you. Tell me what works, what doesn't work, what's clear, what's not clear, and let's take this even further.